Hello everybody, my name is Mark Plyer, and welcome to my playthrough of the Stanley Parable. Now this is actually a very interesting game that's been on my list for a while. It's not really horror, it's not really anything that you've ever played before. In fact, I don't really know, I know there's like a narrator and you gotta like make choices, but I've, I've always wanted to play it and I decided it's about damn time that I did. So let's get into it. I'm just pretty excited because my brother told me good things about him. I've heard a bit of things about it. Not skipping. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Hey! Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Sounds good. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Ah. Orders came to him through a monitor next to his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. Ah. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul-rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. <laughs> and then one day, something very peculiar happened. Hmm. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. Okie dokie. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on a monitor for him to follow. Mm. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Yes, very Shocked, clearly. frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and walked out into the hallway. Now the premise of this game that I know is that you have choices to make. You can follow the narrator's instructions or not. I can't even jump. So, and obviously this is made on the Source engine. I'm where? <laughs> Stanley decided to go to the staff lounge mm -hmm. to check on his co-workers. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. Mm -hmm. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. Mm, indeed. Mm. Hello, 425. Hello, 424. Oh, 424, you're not there. Hello, 423. Ooh. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. <laughs> yeah, this is where the essence of the game comes in. Because you can listen to the narrator, or you can go on your own thing. Let me, I don't even think you can, oh, you can, you can say. Here we go, screw you, narrator. This was not the correct way to the employee lounge, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. So he turned left at the first open door and walked back in the right direction. <laughs> nope. Screw you. Uh-uh. Ain't gonna happen. Nope. Uh-uh. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't <laughs> fired years ago. Maybe this is why everyone had left. No one wanted to be around someone as bad at listening as him. And since he was walking into the middle of nowhere and thus ruining the entire story, Stanley decided that he would punish himself. Ooh. So when he came to the elevator and the doors opened, he stepped inside and pushed the button to go up. Mm. <laughs> it's like a choose-your-own-adventure with kind of a creepy narrator who seems to get irritated at me. Down! Yeah! Oh, Stanley. <sighs> you know, you really aren't going anywhere, and I don't say that deceitfully. I truthfully mean that there isn't a story down here. The story was back up where I told you to go in the first place. Right now, you're just running around looking at empty halls. Oh, and frankly, that's perhaps even more infuriating for me. <laughs> so why don't you throw me a bone, give me a chance, and just let me tell the story I want to tell, hmm? No! Ah. Uh -uh. I could narrate this story twice as good as you. Stanley walked down into the hallway into the bit in, in the... Uh, all right, fine, you can. Ooh, hello. Now listen carefully. This <laughs> is important. Stanley walked through the red door. <gasps> oh, but it's... Uh, this blue door. I like blue. Uh, it, uh, uh! Ah! 
Perhaps you misunderstood. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. No! Blue! Yes! Ha ha! Suck on that, Mr. Mary. Oh. I still don't think ah. you're communicating properly. Ah. Stanley walked through the red door. Oh! Ah, ha, ha. Oh, you've missed... Oh, 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 oh. Ah, ha, ha. Yes! All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. <laughs> you want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Yes, well, I don't do. let me stop you. Oh, I won't. Come out right here. Whoa! What the... You see? Ah! It's nothing. No one's even built this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. It's just a bunch of skybox and dev wall textures. That's it. Is this what you were looking for? Yep. Was it worth ruining the story I'd written out for you? Absolutely. I put a lot of time into that, and now you... Well, here you are now, just looking at nothing. Mm -hmm. To think that that's all I needed to make in the first place, just a whole lot of nothing, and you would have been happy. Well, hey... Yep. You still need a little something to do, yep. am I right? Here, let me load up another map. See if there's something in here that'll keep you occupied. Okay, oh. Mr. Man. Ah, here's one. Let's boot this up. We'll see if you like it. I bet I will. Ooh, hello, loading screen. I like this game. <laughs> I probably should be a bit more cooperative. Oh, hello. <gasps> no! No way! What? What the? Well, Stanny, oh. is this any better? Oh, yeah. I don't know why it would be. This map wasn't even made for you. No. Oh. At least I created a world specifically with you in mind. Oh, why, thank I you. I wanted to make you a leading man. <laughs> this one, well, I'm afraid you're on your own there. Okay, I can deal with that. We. I'm Gordon from the man. I'm gonna save the day by obeying the G man. Ha! Ha! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! I'll put the can in the trash! Uh, that's not this part yet. That's, that's later. Huh. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, <laughs> really stupid. Hey, shut He probably up. only got his job because of a family connection. That's I have how no stupid family. Is. That, or with drug money. Yeah, that sounds Also, right. Stanley is addicted to drugs and hookers. I'll make my own game with blackjack and hookers! Screw you, man. You don't even know what's good for you. Or me. Hey! Is that me? Is that another employee? I don't know. I want to go to Nova Prospect! Ah! Alright, fine. I'll go into the interior room. Barney! Buy me a beer! Hey, what are you doing to that guy in there? Oh, okay. Bar- Ooh, blood. Barney! Dr. Kleiser- Kleiner. Hold up, ah! sport. I spent so long talking about you, why don't we just take a break from that and talk about something else for a change? But I love talking Let's about see. me. Let's see. Well, according to Wikipedia, Ooh. more than 90% of the night sharks caught off northeastern Brazil oh. contain mercury concentrations higher than that considered safe by the local government. Ooh. Now, this is fascinating. Yes. Don't you want to know more about the night sharks? Absolutely. Oh, no, of course not. No, I do. All you want to hear about is yourself, well, isn't it? Well, that too, yeah. I am Well, fine. Great. You haven't listened to me once so far. Yes, I have. I can't expect you to turn that around now, can I? Nope, not at all. Are you that? Are you actually letting me go? I know how to beat this part. Ah, let that or Yeah, I take one of these boxes with me for no reason. Bloop. <laughs> Is this the end of the line? What the hell? I don't suppose this was a particularly fulfilling experience for Whoa. you, considering not a single art aspect in this map was created with you in mind. Uh -huh. But hey, oh. you're a creative kid. I am. I bet you can come up with a story about this place uh -huh. and why you're in it. Yeah. And while you're doing that, why don't you think up an ending too? I think it because you certainly for... won't find one here. I'm afraid that's the long and short of it. This room and these walls are all you get. Nope. I see a hole Maybe in... the story ends when you decide you can't live in this futuristic, uh -huh. science fiction, dystopia world. I like this And you place. gallantly commit suicide. No, that doesn't sound or good at all. maybe you stand in this spot for all of eternity to guide and greet other travelers like yourself who pass this way. Uh -huh. Or maybe you just get bored and you quit the game. Nope, ain't gonna happen. Heck, anything's an ending if that's where you stop playing. But whatever ending you write for yourself, Stanley, you won't have my help. You turned your back on me. Yeah. And now I do the same to you. Shut up, so, you big whiny baby. Good luck. I think you'll need it. And I sincerely hope that everyone lives happily ever after. Uh-uh. Not gonna happen. See? Here we go! Whee! 
Uh-oh. Wait. Ow! Hold on. What are you... What are you doing? Ow, my legs! Hey, look. There's a little... There's a light. Hang on. There's something here. Stanley, don't do that. I can't follow you there. I can't help you. Shut up! You weren't helping me before. How will you write a story without me? Shut up! You can't do it. You know that. I'm already doing it. Ooh, hello. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Say what? Say what? <laughs> I like this game. Oh. Hello, 425. Hello, 424. Hello, 423. Ooh. This old choice again? Shall I be forever stuck in the same old loop? That which I was always with which and then I went, or should I go on my own way? I still want to go this way! Or is there nothing to this way? Hmm. There's no narrator. The doors aren't slamming behind me. I bet no elevator pops up. Hmm. I guess I gotta go that way. Hmm. Ah! It's sad, I know. But all stories must come to an end. Aww. Of course, they say it's the journey that truly matters and not the destination, and I like that idea. To think we might value the paths we walk as much as the places they lead us. Okay. Now, I don't know what sort of story you've ciphered out of that world you've made for yourself, but I hope that being the leading man was everything it's cracked up to be. It was! I know it can be a little hard getting around without someone looking over your shoulder, mm -hmm. but this is simply the nature of freedom. Yay! Besides, I haven't really gone anywhere. Maybe you don't want a guide. No. But I think I'll always have a place here at the end of every story. Okay. I'll step in and wrap things up with a nice piece of dialogue and a reflection on life that makes sense of whatever path you've chosen to walk. Sounds good to me. And for now, I'm happy to be the destination instead of the journey. But only for now. Mm, only for now, eh? <laughs> <laughs> I like that. I like that a lot. That was really cool. I mean, to be perfectly honest, there's a lot of choices that have to do with the game. Like, a lot of choices. But I don't have time to go through all the other choices just yet. Um, unless I decide to make this alone. Now, I don't have all the time to make the choices for the other path just yet. That was actually really cool. I like that. I also like that the narrator was a really good voice actor. And it's just these experimental games are what really really drive my passion for video games. I love these little nuances like this, and I wish I'd have played this a long time ago. Either way, that was awesome. Um, you can find uh, The Stanley Parable on ModDB or in the link in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the annotations for more videos that I've done. Um, let me know in the comments if you want me to go down the other path, or you can do it for yourself, which might be even better and more fun. So let me know in the comments below, and as always, I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye!